configuring one node express server to run over HTTPS on your local computer is typically not an easy assignment, especially for Windows users, because normally to create the certificates for your local computer, you need this software, the OpenSSL, and it's not natively supported by Windows. So in this video, I have to show you a step-by-step -step way to create your certificates and to instantiate one Node Express server and then running that over HTTPS. Okay, so first we have here this web page about the OpenSSL project, but from here we could just fi find the source code from GitHub to download, but as Windows users we would like to install that and have that available in our computer. Then if you look for the, the installable version of the software, we find the binaries that already was compiled, and then here we have SS, open SSL for Windows. Okay, so you can click here and download that. Then confirming you are not one robot. Okay, just mark the boats here. One more time. Okay, and we are safe. Here are the codes. And here is for my platform. Okay, Windows 64. Now it's downloaded. Okay, On, once it was downloaded, we have here the, to open SSL for Windows, we will extract that. But then it's not um, a red no by Windows. If you can here open your control command and try here open SSL, it's not recognized. So now I'm going to show you a step to step. I have here prepared one script of everything we have to execute and then we are going to go through that. So we are exactly here. We need to configure the OpenSSL to be recognized by our windows. Okay, so basically what you have to do, we need to take this path here. Currently we are under downloads, it's not exactly the best directory, so we could cut that from here. I have already prepared um, a directory here named OpenSSL, I have manually created that, and then I can just paste that here. Here we have another additional files I have already prepared and then I will make it available for you. Now what we can do, this directory is the directory we have the OpenSSL um, executable file. So we just take that, open the my computer, this PC uh, page, and then here in the properties you can make that as in our variable variables, you could add that in the path of your computer and then you could create a new entry and set that here. Once you have done that, the OpenSSL should be recognized by your Windows. If now you, you open another command interface and type here OpenSSL, it already is understood. And the first message it say to us is that it cannot open this open SSL config file and it's because um, it's using by default one reference that's only available for Unix users so we need to change that for change that we have to execute this instruction here that will change the config from open SSL and then we need to point to some file this file open SSL config it needs to have the minimal configuration that's this one. Okay, you can change that according with your your company, your project. Okay, um, it will also be available to, to download, and it's here in my c slash open SSL. And then here's the name of the file, openssl.config. So the, the code right, right here to be executed. Just execute that also in the command line prompt. Okay, it was which was not set yet. Just a moment, you need to go out from... Yes, now let me just clear that. 
and we open a new one here and it be easier to us okay now we are going to change that variable and it's fine now if you type open ssl the command executes without problems because it has found its configuration everything right until here now let's go on the first thing you have to do now is to create one certificate for the certificate authority and it's because normally one HTTPS certificate is signed by one external one thir third party um, authority and we do not have it here because we are offline testing our local host system so we are going to create one one certificate, certificate authority but it's not um, exactly valid outside in the world and normally this certificate already exists okay so how to create that first we need to create the key executing this command I'm going to execute all these comments under this directory here because then all the fi produced files will be together and it'll be easier to track so first I'm going to open again the console and then I'm going to open this directory I have just showed you now everything I'm going to execute here then the generated files will be created and updated here right so next step create then the key for our new certificate authority just executing this command and now we have here the key created okay but we need to inform one pass for this 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 key okay i have typed that wrongly let me try again okay now it's fine it has created the key for the certificate authority now next step we are going to create then the certificate with the second comment so just execute that just copy and paste and okay for some reason it's still looking for the um, old for the old config for the old um, configuration let me close and open again on the rise it's going to create in the wrong place right let us try to execute again this command here okay for some reason it has lost our configuration of config i'm going to execute that again because probably it's a session variable so we are going to execute that again okay yes probably it's session then i have closed it in the open then it was lost so now we could execute finally the command to create the certificate the pen file right so here we create that again the same key we have informed when created the the key before and now it's fine now we have two files the key and then pen file and so our certificate authority is has its files created next step next step we need to create certificate for our own domain understand we have the certificate authority and we have our domain and then the certificate authority is going to sign the certificates for our domain that syncs values that exists so first of all i'm going to create manually this file here localhost ext so let me create that here okay it was created then next step generate the key for our um, domain that, now is the same step we have done for the certificate authority but now for our domain so just executing that here now okay again it has a new password now so now now for the domain certificate Okay, it has I have typed that wrongly let me try again okay now it's fine now we are now we have the key for the local host now we are going to create the certificate for the local host for creating the certificate we have to execute this second command after it's the certificate request the csr certificate request and just later on when we sign that with the certificate authority then we are going to have the certificate so now create the certificate request
okay here we have the certificate request and now we are going to create the certificate based in this file so just execute just follow comments here again the password I think I have typed wrong the password or it's fine let me try again Yes, it's created now, and now, now it's fine, yes. Now it was created, next step. Next step is we need to have the decrypted key, because in our server we, we need to have the certificate of the local host, our domain, that's signed by the certificate authority, and we also need to have the private key, okay? Then we can decrypt the encrypted message we receive. Then for this purpose, we execute just another command here. And the last comment from OpenSSL, then we can just work to, with Node. Then, as you can see here, we have the private key. This private key is very important because we are going to use that in our server, and then we are going to be able to decrypt all messages we receive. Okay, now we have everything. Next step, we then need to just to run our node. I have prepared here this node code, okay? I'm going to make that available to you. It's already open it here in my, um, in my Visual Studio. So you just have to do the following. First, you need to install the dependence Express, NPN I Express. Then you have to also install the HTTPS model, NPN I HTTPS, and then you can run that. Basically, here we just have to reference it, the certificate and the decrypted key. I'm going to make that simple for you now, taking my make that that path uh, dynamically. I'm going to copy these two files to the same direct directory we have here. So they are here: the localhost certificate and the decrypted key. Just copy both inside the the code, the search code directory. And then now we could just execute this. Let me stop. Let me try to stop this code here. Yes. Let me try to hand that again. So node and the name of the file that here is node express HTTPS. Running that. Okay. Now we are running that. You can just open that here, and you are going to see. Okay. Okay. What, what that means? That means okay. We are under HTTPS but our certificate authority is not considered valid because we have just created that now locally, the world do not know it's a safe. But we, we are saying, okay, we trust the certificate authority, let's go. And here we have our code running over HTTPS. The reason it says not to be secure is just because it was signed by one certificate authority that's not valid outside, okay? If you want to have that value, you need then to pay for one certificate. But when you pay for that, you are going to receive these two files from your provider. Provider. Okay. Then here you 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 we are really inside our source code. We are running under HPS. We are safe. Safe on web. Not not exactly, but a little more than we felt that. Okay. Now it does not update. I want you just have to stop that and run that again and then probably you are going to to see the updated code it has started in the default port from https that is 443 but you could use any port you want to okay hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching